Hiya. So I kind of feel that this example overcomplicates it. You have to imagine a person stood there holding this. And a person stood here all holding this. Now with this one, it's saying it's about to slip. I don't like the word slip. It's about to move up the slope. So I'm going to pull it hard enough. So the force X is bigger than F max. That's kind of what it's saying. But here, if I'm going to pull it up to move it, that the X has to be bigger than F max to move it up. I'll just put my 3G 45 there, look at So what is it? So 3G cos 45, 3G sine 45. So this wants the, the, the biggest and smallest value of X. Right, so let's let's set this one out then. So let's do it so we kind of oh God, see what's going on. So oh it's all breaking, I've got to be quick. F equals MA perpendicular. So perpendicular going up minus perpendicular going down is zero because it's in equilibrium. So R minus 3G cos 45 is zero. Uh, is 3g cos 45. Uh, let's move that up. F max, mu r, uh, mu is a third. F max is a third of 3g cos 45. So if you put that in the calculator, it gives you root 2g02, because cos 45 is root 2 root 2. Then, oh, I thought, why is he doing this? Oh, it's right, really, really wasting the time here with it. Right, so if we do f equals ma parallel to the slope now, so it's being about to pull it up, aren't I? That's the way it's going. My acceleration is going up. But I'm going to work it out as if it's right on that edge. So I'm going to say that going up minus going down is equal to zero. So going up the slope on here is my x. Acting against it is friction and the 3G sine 45. If I can get this ball to work. So I've got x, I've got minus my friction, which is my root 2g over 2. And then I've also got minus my 3G 45, sine 45. That's equal to 0. So if I move it all over, x is roughly 27.7 newtons. So that was working it out as if I'm just about to pull it up the slope. Now the next one is, imagine I'm stood here holding it, and I'm, I'm about to, it's about to drop down. So I'm, I'm going to let it kind of go down, but I'm still holding it. So this time my f max is going up the slope, and my acceleration going down the slope. But once again, I'm going to get it just on the edge. So I've got the 3G cos 45, I've got the 3G sine 45. Right, so let's have a look at F equals MA perpendicular. So up minus down is equal to zero. So that's going to be the same, isn't it? R minus 3G cos 45 is zero. R is 3G cos 45. Then my F max has to be the same then. That's going to be root 2G over 2. Because it's the same as whatever it was before. And then my F equals MA parallel. So this time it's travelling down the, the slope. I'm holding it back. And friction's going with me. But the 3G sine 45 is what's taking it down the slope. So down the slope minus up the slope is equal to mass times acceleration. So what have we got then? So my, well actually I'm going to set that equal to zero, aren't I? So I've got, I'll just have to pause it a second while I set it up. Right, so I've set it up now. So the 3G sine 45 is the one that's moving it down the plane. The X and the F max are fighting against it. So if I take the X over and then just work out that bit together, it gives me 13.9 newtons for x. So for it to, to not move, either way, I want it between them. So I want it between the 13.9 and the 27.7, and that's done. See?